Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X. I was debating whether I wanted to show the intro or not, and I decided no, because I want to get in and play this. So, here we go. This is uh, one of my favourite games for the Super Nintendo. It's one of my favourite Mega Man games. It's hard to say which one is my favourite, if I'm honest. Because uh, there are a lot of good ones. Not a lot. I like them all, if I'm honest. And yeah, I'm not brilliant at this game. I'm actually pretty bad at this game, but I have completed it a couple of times. I do enjoy it. I remember where most of the secrets, if not all of them are, I think. And if I forget any, uh, well, I won't forget any, I'm sure I'll go back and hunt for them until I find them. Okay, so what we have, we have that guy. So yeah, don't expect me to be too skillful. I'm not that great. Ah, oh, damn it. See, I'm already getting hit. I shouldn't die, though. Shouldn't, unless I hit a pitfall. Oh yeah, I don't have the dash yet. Um, yeah, in general, I'm okay at this game. I won't say brilliant, I won't say bad. I'm sure you guys will think I'm bad though, because everyone who I've seen play Mega Man is like awesome. I'll take that though. Do I need to get that health? Ah, uh, yeah. There's one on this side as well. Let's get that, and then we'll go back up. And get ready to do another one of these bug ship things, which always reminds me of um, Starbug from Red Dwarf. I just can't help it, it always does. And if you haven't seen Red Dwarf, I recommend watching it, it's awesome. In my opinion. So yeah, this is the little tutorial stage with the amazing backgrounds, fantastic music and great graphics in general. Uh, it's a really good tutorial stage actually, get you used to the game, what to expect. This game isn't particularly difficult, the last uh, boss area can be a pain, but it's quite doable without too much trouble, especially if you have the hit, like uh, extra weapons and heart tanks and e-tanks and you know, all that stuff. Yep. Okay, so this first part will go up to the end of Chill Penguin. I jumped too early there. Okay. There we go. So, yep, yeah, I'll do the tutorial and then I'll do Chill Penguin because that should be a good length video then. And then we'll um, end the part there. I will say that this and many other games will be recorded long before the uh, they're released. So you can give me tips and advice and stuff, but to, I'd have already finished the game while you're watching this. So. I am doing terribly. I've never actually played this game while talking, so uh, yeah, maybe that's it. But I should be used to that by now. I've done many LPs. Okay, so we can't beat this guy. I'll, I'm also taken into the fact that you've all played this game by now, because let's be honest, if you haven't, then what the hell? Why are you watching this? Play it. You should definitely play this game if you haven't. Come on, bro. Ah, there we go. I'm pretty sure you can't beat that guy. You worthless piece of scrap metal, did you think you could defeat me? Well, obviously. God damn, Zero takes his time to shoot that weapon. <laughs> and what, you couldn't just cut his head off, you know? I know you've got a sword. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. No, you are not. 
X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached your full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. Nah, probably not. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. Okay, so I'll, I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. The reason... Oh, for Jesus Christ, Zero, shut up. X, I know you can do it. Okay. Now, the reason uh, I do Chill Penguin first is because that is where we get the dash, I think. And I love the dash. You know, the dash is something I have to have. So, let's go get that. It's been a... Well, it's actually not been that long since I played this game. But... It's been long enough for me to... Oh, Jesus Christ. I am... <laughs> this is a great start. Oh, Jesus. Take the wheel. Okay. Thankfully, uh, most enemies in this part are pretty nice at giving HP. Because <laughs> clearly I'm going to need it. Right, I'll try and play better from now, I swear. These bats are really good for HP dropping. He says not getting... Oh, there we go. Thank you. And now we get the spiky ball things, right? I didn't even release the weapon. Um. So, yeah. Don't expect too much from me. I'm sure if you've played this game, you're already better at this game than I am. Ah, I made it. I didn't think I made that jump. And kill you. Get that HP. Which I'm going to need a lot more of. Okay, so here are the leg upgrades. Artificial boost? Speed boost or something? I don't know. So you've come. It gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion, I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Thanks for not putting them all in one place, but for the record, that, that would have been very helpful. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Acceleration system, of course, that's it. Good luck, X. Okay. So now we get our little ching and like pose, which is awesome. One of my favourite touches to this game. It gives it personality, and this game is full of it. Just love the design on so many things. Oh, I don't actually need healing. Makes a change. And now we can charge up. The one thing I always forget in this game is that you can't duck. I'm a nightmare for that. I always think I can duck and never can. Okay. Oh, damn it. So, a lot of the times uh, I get hit is because I think I can duck. Okay, we actually want to... And kill you. And that's all we get for the little robot. There's a way up there, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing there at the moment. Okay, just got an itch to scratch. Okay. Oh, God, yeah, this part. I'm terrible at this part. 
Okay, I'll try and not... Jesus Christ, I couldn't even see that coming like uh, until it was too late. It's always in my path of uh, landing. Oh, no, 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 no. That was terrible. I always forget I can destroy them as well. Okay, I'm not doing too well on HP. Well, I mean, I'm not doing too badly, but hopefully I will remember enough about Chill Penguin to be able to kill him pretty easily. He's, he's not that tough, actually. I should be fine. Uh, I can just, you know... Stay here if I need to, I think. I think that was a tactic if you wanted to, like, uh, do it without getting hit. So, yeah, every time it dives, he's hittable when he stands up. So, it's pretty easy. Oh, finally getting a new skill. You can actually get off another attack there, I think. Can't. Get rid of them. You gonna do a slide? No. You can jump up and grab the little switch. Come on. Okay then. Let's do that then. And he should be dying soon. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Um, I didn't get hit. That's pretty good. And hopefully I can keep that up for the rest of the bosses. Um, I'll probably do it in their weakness order just because I'm not that great. But this is the end of part one when we get back to the stage thing and check out a new weapon. We've got Shotgun Ice, and in the next part we will be going to Spark Mandrill, I believe. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in part two.